What's happening people? This is The Breaks and you're watching One to Watch. First rap that I ever wrote. I think I must have been year nine. I was 14 years old in the music class. And it was, it was just one of those things where every time we had to kind of put on a, a production or put on some sort of performance for the rest of the class. And the topic at the time was about pollution. So we all could choose to wrote we could choose whether we worked as a group or whether we worked as a solo. So me being me, wanted to work by myself, wanted to get all the glory and everything. So um, I wrote this rap. Still remember it. I'm not gonna rap it, but it was um, yeah, just to do about pollution. Um, but I did it also. I decided to team up with a guy, a friend of mine at the time called Al, who I'd later join on with to become Strictly Forbidden, Psych and Breaks. Um, and then really from then we we hit it off. And yeah, to this day I still remember that rap. But it's not gonna surface, and you're not gonna hear it. <laughs> Strictly forbidden. I mean, I to be honest, I haven't seen I haven't seen Psych in probably a good five six years now. It's, it's just life, isn't it? People grow up, they they kind of move away, they get different priorities. I mean, I went to university. Um, as far as I know, Al um, went on to have a family. Um, but yeah, pe people just grow up and they just do different things and I'd love to kind of get back in contact and maybe do a few, few songs together, just like the Cypher session. Like we, one of the things I used to love when we, when I was a little rapping with Psych was just going around to his house and come around to mine and putting our, our 90 minute TDK tape in the decks and just, just messing about, just freestyling, just rapping, just rapping over other people's beats, writing our songs and to me that was it, that was the best. Future plans for the brace. Well, I mean, this year is a new year and everything, so I'm just gonna keep on, keep on pushing. My aim for this year is to to get a couple of videos done, get my new album done, and the mixtape I'm doing as well, um, a few other features and collaborations as well. So I'm hoping it's gonna be a busy year for me. Just really make a push, really kind of get my stuff out there, get my face out there, um, and just yeah, let people know exactly who I am. I'm the brakes. That's me. For me, without a doubt, um, wait, are we talking British or American? All right, cool. Well, uh, I'll, I'll do both. So if, we, if we're talking British, um, hands down, Black Twanger. I grew up listening to Twanger. I think he's like one of the realest lyricists out there. He, he just keeps it real and his lyrics are just completely on point. Um, Maestro, I'm a huge fan of Maestro. Love his, love his work. I love his wordplay. I just love what he does on the track. And I like the fact that he's and are taking what Skills is doing in the US now and um, doing his UK wrap up each year as well. So literally last night I just listened to his UK wrap up for, for 2011 and it was good man. The guy's got the guys got skills, so definitely. So yeah, Black Twang, Maestro, Love and Steiner, my Nathan, um, Baby Blue, all, all them kind of people. I, I looked at them because at the same time we kind of came up in the same game doing the same thing. I mean, I've done competitions with Baby Blue, done the competitions with Nathan, so I mean it's good to see them doing their thing now and kind of doing it on a wider scale, so I'm, I'm real happy for them, so hopefully that, that'll be me soon, that'll be my time coming, so yeah. So yeah, I mean, Clean But Still Street, that was, for me, that was probably one of my, my most favourite album that I've done, um, one of my proudest moments, I just think the level of production on that, Jack Nori, I think, is an, is an awesome producer. He's probably one of the best producers that I've worked with. And the guy's just got so much soul. I mean, I said it on, on one of the tracks, I think it was Rhymes and Music featuring D. It was like Jack Nori's got the soul of every jazz musician in him. I, I, just, I just think that's true. Once you see this guy on the piano, on the rows, and the guy just freestyles on the keys, and it just sounds so soulful. So, I mean, he, he played probably the dudes. I'd say 80 to 90% of the album. And to me, lyrically, it's probably one of my best albums lyrically as well. So, fantastic songs on that. I mean, I love Hip Hop Love, and I just think that's an undiscovered classic. Um, sound check, Daddy's Own Self. Oh, there's, there's too much to mention. You have to go check it out. It's on iTunes, Spotify, anywhere. All good online retailers. You can go have a listen to it. So, yeah, check it out, definitely. 
But right, right now, I'm working on um, my new mixtape. Um, it's called OPB, it stands for Other People's Beats. The um, story behind that is just really just finding it hard to link up with producers to, to get beats. And well, it's not, I tell you what, it's not hard to get producers to send you beats, it's hard to get good beats from good producers. So um, I basically flipped it around and just said, Look, I wanted to just use other people's beats, and that's just kind of the whole, the whole premise of the mixtape. So it's called OPB. The title track off of that, or the first track on that is um, and the take. It's, it's a spin on Naughty by Nature's OPP, 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 so I'm just rapping over that beat. So basically, you can just hear me rapping over some of my favourite hip hop beats, RB beats, soul beats, of all time basically. I'm just putting it together in one mixtape. Um, at the same time, doing my album as well, so following on from Cream Still Street, doing. I'm not going to tell you the name of the album actually, that's how I'm going to wait for that to, to come out. But, it's gonna be special for me. I tell you what, I'm easy. I'm not just kind of tunnel visioned into into hip hop. So I have to work on a hip hop beat and I have to work with a hip hop artist. My my thing is to feel good. I'll work with you. I want to kind of push the boundaries on this one. So kind of maybe go away a little bit from the style that everyone's come to expect from me or or, or if you used to from me and maybe kind of branch out a little bit into something a bit more, I don't know, some people call it mainstream, they think it's a bad thing, who knows. I'm just cons I'm, I'm just focused on making good music and that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, Kel Spence is, he's Kel Spence man, he's, he's worked with Ross Smith, Music Soul Child, MC Light, DJ Jazzy Jeff, he's, he's been around and he's been doing this thing for a long time, so, you know, I was blessed that he kind of accepted my kind of olive branch to, to work with him and collaborate on the track and I think what we did and what we produced was absolutely amazing and the fact that we have kind of the Atlantic Ocean in between us didn't really transcend on the track it sounded like we were in the studio together in the same booth and everything and I just think I really respect him for, for working with me because me I'm kind of an unsigned nobody so to speak and he's just kind of a big US rapper and it's just so humble and so talented as well and bringing it back the track that we collaborated on is just I just think it's fantastic it's got that real kind of old school vibe to it that old school kind of break and the track's just basically what it says it's about it's bringing it back bringing it back to the days when hip hop was kind of hip hop and back when DJs were fresh people were spitting you know, sick lyrics and it wasn't all about I mean I, I've spoken about it throughout people's just still street but it's just not about kind of like the women and the guns and the drugs and all that lot. It's just rocking the party, rocking the mic, making everybody jump up and out and get, get live and that's kind of what the whole essence of the track is about. So it's just kind of fun, laid back, chilled, old school kind of vibe of the track and came out fantastic. You should, you should check it out definitely. Cool. Alright. This camera here? Alright. Check. I'm a bad boy when it comes to rhymes and lyrics, you finally did it, you recognize that I am the sickest, if you try and diss rap, you know I try and defend it, I'll be like, back up, back up, just mind your business, I'm that black bro with the flat nose, got no afro, but my rap bro, in comparison, you slack, oh, you getting cheddar, but brother, you getting worse, but you never thought I'd be getting better with every verse, me not impressing, delivering fake raps, that's unheard of, like black men going for spray tans, that's alright though, coming with the skill and the tight flow, I might get hype, flip it right and then I might go, back to basic, my rap skills amazing, I'm captivated, you just lack the basics, you're crap And I'm refusing to help because I'm bad like my spine is deducing itself huh. Contradictory flows, honestly I'm so sick with this You equipped with dictaphones, it's cathar, it won't try to mask it Don't call me a rapper, the term now is a spit artist I'm just laughing, got my niche mark here, please pass it What the mic, boy, you garbage Trying to act like I can't get none, I just look at your girl Your girl be like, ooh <laughs> Check it out